hello everyone welcome back to my channel so this is another session of dotnet myu series so already we cover everything and last session we cover actually how we can set up application dot development application setting dot development environment okay now we can read the data from this uh, app setting dot development json okay so now this session we learn how we can you know uh, you know all how we can just uh, implement that swap swap view so see once i so this is our list so i want to something you know add edit or you know i want to delete or edit something ab about this list item okay so uh, in other uh, application like web application is there there is a many button to show over here but here this is you know very little screen so we have to use that swap view so how we can you how we can implement that swap view so that we'll do in this session so this see this is very simple uh, look like see see whatever your list item so just you write uh, if you want to show this uh, item in this right hand side so you can just swap the to right also there is a mechanism to you know you can swap to left to right so you will show over here so that also that will run in this session so also this see i'll add to button and with along with the image so those are will run in this session so let's get started and also if you new in this uh, .NET series session in my channel so definitely i recommend to you please go to my you know channel and uh, check out my you know .NET series .NET series videos okay before proceeding to first so see this uh, .NET myu list you will able to see you know lot of videos to starting how we can uh, create a list everything etc etc okay so let's get started so what need to do you have to go to you know our your main dot page where is actually you uh, you know showing your collection view inside the collection view you create a grid and this inside of grid actually you populate your data okay so here just we need to write you know some code so that i ca we can achieve actually uh we can achieve that uh, no swap view so how we can do that let me start from here you know after that data template okay so where is our data template this is our data template so just collapse this okay. so this is our data template so inside of data template actually I'm we are trying to bind the data so we have to uh, implement and we have to write some code over here so this is an inbuilt functionality of dotnet myu so first what you have to do is you have to just set it the swap view okay so this is a tag of swap view this is a control actually so just cut over here and before end of the template okay uh here so just add it over so that you know whatever items so when i trying to do uh, inside swap so that will work inside that template okay so that swap and uh, inside the swap we have to have another control you know, tag you know swap view dot swap view dot whatever things you want to so you want to uh, right item or left item so you can do this so see it is a right item also it, you want to a left item so this is a left one so first just check it to right item so just write item and then close that tag okay write item and then inside what need to do we have to you know show some item as well so what is the item our swipe item okay actually swipe item and then we have to put some property over here like swap behavior like what is what kind of behavior actually so that i can do over here okay swap items actually so let me get it the right name okay swap item and then swap behavior on inbox okay so once inbox so how we can keep it like that swap like we want to keep it auto we want to close it we want to reopen so like like that way okay so we have to keep it close okay so once i i done it swap then it should be closed automatically okay so then it's done and what need to do 
uh, inside the swipe item we have to do swipe item inside the items inside we have to use swipe item and what is the item over here like text so this is our button actually we button or we can say call uh, items so whatever the item i want to use edit okay so i want to use edit button and uh, and also i want to put some color also so we can put some background color so background color and just set it to blue or whatever you want and also we can set it the command this is the command and same thing because definitely this button uh, this item actually we want to click and we want to perform something okay so just binding and uh, just whatever command as of now we don't have any command in this view model view but we'll we'll set up set up set up, up. we set up uh, in a later but yeah just mention okay uh, just mention uh, just go to that view just create a one command okay for the example for the sample okay so just public and uh, just async void just as is a edit okay so this is edit command and uh, just copy this attribute so that we can make it to command okay so edit command nothing we have to do just copy this gun and go back here go back here xml and just pass it to edit the command okay that's it just close it and uh, we can close like this way or also we can like close this way as well okay so that's up to you okay let me run and check like how's look like okay choose through this and run this application let's see the behavior whatever behavior is expected or not okay see something edit command it's not there okay yeah so that is expected actually see we using inside the data template but inside the data template it is looking uh, that view model but with the view model it's not working inside the data template so that what we have to do we have to just you know use some other way to call that command so how we can do that we can just copy that uh, code because that is a long long code so just replace this okay see same beh same behavior which is we already done here like uh, for uh, other place yeah see we done for here uh for you know go to command once i uh, tab on this you know list item so i have to navigate the list list view so same behavior we have to do because we using inside the template okay so same 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 fashion we have to done over here just call to you know relative source as a type what is our view model so this is our view model what is our command our command is edit command okay so let's edit command that's it okay and now try to run it's nice to actually nice to do once you get the problem so definitely you know what is the problem and how we can resolve so that's why i'm not speaking skipping the video okay so see it is running so let me run and see it is running now see try to write okay see once i try to right swipe you know i am able to see that button and let me put debugger over here so that once i click so my debugger point also should come over here so let me open and click see my debugger point over here on the edit command whatever edit perform uh, no, operation we need to do we will do in next session because this video will take a no will take a long time so that's why i skipping so only will will learn only just how we can right swipe how we can swipe the swipe implementation in this dot net my view okay so just continue
okay see it is working and also just try to add another button like uh, swipe right to swipe uh, not swipe right but it is added so i'm trying to delete as well so let's just copy and just paste it okay meanwhile just this one and just try to add it to delete that's it delete and just change it to delete color to red okay and just save it and also just change edit command to delete command and we have to make this command as well okay so go to again view model just copy those things okay and just change it to delete delete okay this is our delete command ready just make sure name should be same okay and if it is working or not i am don't know because hot reloading is working yeah hot reload is very nice okay see it is working i am getting those two items whatever item you want to put so you can put it over here. as of now it's two is fine for my our requirement okay edit or delete so that is fine also see if i want to some put some images so i can put the image as well so how we can do that so let me put some image as a one con uh, property like icon image so if you go to icon image just put some image whatever do you have in your application so as of now i guess if you go to resources images so see i have a one svg so i will try to show that is svg so just copy this svg okay, this is not copying okay that is fine so let me write that name uh just pin and okay what is the name it is dot net what dot s v z okay so that's it save hot reload and let me check close see whatever icon you want to show it is happening over here okay so it is very simple um, uh, whatever image you want to show just you know download somewhere put it over here and just you know reference to that image okay so that is fine also let me show that let me try to that delete command it's hitting or not let me debugger over here okay? because we check edit is working so let me try to delete and this next session will actually will try to implement that how we can delete the data um, with the calling our api okay so that implementation will not going to do in this session but yeah in later session upcoming session will do that okay so let me delete okay okay go back okay okay i think it is not properly reload so just save it copy go back and see everything is fine yes it is delete command delete command and uh, yes that is fine i think delete command okay let me run make sure like command also uh, trigger or not that is important because when once you trying to implement if it's command not trigger so definitely it's a confusing part so that's why i'm trying to do everything see once i click the delete so it is trigger whatever implementation we need to do we can put over here and just continue boom so that is done okay it is very simple just recap what i have done okay, it is very very simple uh go to your page okay where you want so this is our collection view of list view we, we are actually finding our list so inside the data template actually i create a swap view control okay so see it is a my control of swap view and inside the swap view i use okay so one more thing actually i forget to so it is a right i, I try to write so let me change to right to left okay so left 
left item that's it and just debug run your application wait okay so see right also working okay so now this time is left is not working but right is working okay this is very straightforward things okay and then we have to use a swipe items and inside the swipe item actually we 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 have to swipe item and we can add whatever item be required okay and also we can use that icon image and also we can put some command okay if it is outside of this you know data template so directly you can use that command okay command name okay so that is done that is enough for this session okay and thank you have a nice day and please don't forget to subscribe like share okay thank you